Everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to go through a few different ways of removing a watermark from Adobe Premiere Pro video projects. So if that's what you're looking for, let's get straight into it. So you can see my video clip currently has a watermark down on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Now there's no direct way of removing a watermark from Premiere Pro. There could be third-party plugins that you could use but right now directly in Premiere Pro there are three ways that you can do this the first way you need to select your clip you need to copy your clip so let's use Control C on our keyboard let's use the down arrow to move over to the end of the clip and use Control V to paste it now let's click down on it and drag it and move it above the original clip now this is what it will look like now the first method may not be ideal for this type of video clip but if the video clip perhaps is where the camera is not moving this could work so you're going to select your very upper layer and you're going to go into effects controls on the left hand side and you're going to go down and look for opacity now you can click on this free draw and you can actually draw a piece out of this video and we are going to lay it over the watermark. Let's do that. Now you can move this around. So let's go over here to the left hand side and where you see position. Let's change its position so that it's over the watermark. Now of course you can imagine that as you're going through your video, the frames in the video are gonna change and that's gonna look terrible. So let's delete it. The other thing that we can do here is go over to your effects on the left hand side on the bottom and you can go to video effects. Now keep in mind that we have our duplicated clips. Let's go down to blur and sharpen. Let's open it up and there is a camera blur. Now you're going to click down and drag it over onto your very upper clip. Immediately it blurs the entire video, but what we're going to do now is over in opacity here, we're going to see effects controls. So you're going to go over to the left hand side and you're going to find the camera blur. Let's mask it. We have our mask now and we can move this over our watermark. Let's do so either by using the positioning over here on the left hand side or by clicking down and dragging it. So that's what it looks like now. And if you go down over here to this blur effect, you can actually just change a couple settings such as the feather, the opacity, and how much expansion it has on it, as well as the percentage of blur. So you can customize it so that your watermark is blocked out, but it's not really noticeable on your video clip. The third and the final method of doing so is only having one clip you don't need a duplicate clip for this so let's delete it and here's our watermark and what we're going to do is we are going to select our clip and under the effect controls we are going to go to scale and we're going to increase the scale so essentially we're zooming into the video and we're zooming in and repositioning it so that the watermark is not visible now of course all three of these methods are not perfect however you can have different scenarios with different video clips where you can remove watermarks successfully.